So in this video is a replay in the Minuteman, which is a tier 7 American heavy tank. Um, it's probably the strongest tier 7. Um, it's just because of the, the spaced armour it's got, as you can see on the turret and on the side of the hull. Um, a lot of tanks will struggle to, to do any sort of damage to you. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it is um, a little overpowered. Um, it is quite sluggish as you can see, but the gun's quite good. It reloads in an okay time, um, and the armor is extremely strong. So if you're getting a bit sick of um, not bouncing any shots, then it's definitely a tank to to use. Um, you can really sort of side scrape in it and um, you know angle the armor nicely. Get hold down. You can do anything in it really with with the armor it's got. So yeah, as you can see, just bouncing shots off of it. It is a, a very um, the armor is very good on this tank. Um, it's not one that I use too often. Um, don't usually play heavy tanks, um, but when I do fancy playing a heavy tank, it's usually sort of a Tiger variant that I play. Um, I do quite like that that sort of play style, but um, the Miniman is is extremely good. So just pushing the north flank um, on Westfield. I don't think I would have lost long going sort of towards K0 uh, and, and through that route I think I would have been spotted up and lit and by the look at it there's a heavy tank that's kind of stopped so I'm uh, assuming that one's getting lit up just using these these ridges these hills um, make sure I don't get spotted I do just want to poke around here see if I can get any shots on this tank looks like I can missed a shot unfortunately uh, won't reload in time, so just carry on forward. We've got the light tank here in support. Um, to be honest, it's probably gone the wrong way um, on Westfield, uh, particularly at this stage of the game. Um, it wants to be in the middle. So I've decided now that um, I think I do need to now push the middle myself. I think we've probably cleared out the north. I did notice that, that heavy tank down in the south it did seem to be swarmed by at least two enemy tanks, so I think they're going to have a push towards our base. Um, unfortunately, I always now assume that um, if our base is undefended as it is now, that the enemy team will try and cap it. So the artillery is running. Um, I'm hoping it, it at least turns around at some point to try and provide some sort of assistance to, to me. But we're just going towards the cap now. Um, I think that's where the, the main danger is going to come from. Um, just by them capping out. I think 8 5. Um, I think if it was in a, a team destruction situation, I think we would have. We probably would win this. But I'm just concerned about getting capped out. I'm just deciding at this point where best to go is I'm trying to get a nice sort of hold down spot so I can cover both flanks um, probably one tank in our cap area and I suspect it's probably retreated because it felt it was isolated um, but we're now getting some really nice shots down on on this VK3002D. I um, don't think it's going to penetrate me at this range, I'm just sort of sitting there. The side armour, in some situations, it is more effective than the front armour, just because of the, the spaced armour is so thick. Um, so that is something to, to bear in mind. I, I have no issues being slapped side on like this. So, um, sure enough, whoever decided that they were going to cap, um, probably felt isolated and had retreated, so it was probably that VK. 
So we've got the last two tanks now, it's 4-2. Um, concern at the moment is, is that it's, it's essentially three heavies against two, uh, against the medium and a heavy. So the medium could start out spotting us. But it's just there stationary. Um, finish off. And there's the last tank. Um, I think if I stayed there and got the um, the turret down, I don't think I would have got any damage anyway. But um, get the win on that one. So yeah, the, my first impression of the Mint Man is it's extremely powerful. Um, the armor is is really good, even um, even in today's game. Um, it's definitely worth getting. I, I think the only issue is it, it's tier seven. Um, might not want to play tier seven, um, and it's a heavy. Um, so it's not a particular class that I enjoy playing, but um, this tank is good if um, you just want to go out and sort of bounce and absorb shots. So um, yeah.